Status. Status is such a huge thing in the world in this day and age. It is something that the whole world, and myself included, chases or has chased after in one way or another in order to be seen or appreciated. Though status became something I absolutely idolized in my journey of life. Something I was consistently pursuing and was willing to sacrifice everything that I loved and cared for in order to reach a specific level in my life. I wanted to be seen. I wanted to be assured, feel accepted and appreciated and glorified by all the wrong people for all the wrong reasons. I really didn't even have one valid reason to be chasing it so heavily, but I was absolutely willing to do anything and everything to get there. There was no purpose behind why I was so passionate about reaching this level, but I just felt that if I made it to that certain status, life would get easier and all of my current issues would fade and eventually I'd forget them the same way I forgot who I was. As I began to grow and expand, my problems still remained. My hurt lingered, my confusion was still just as present, and it got to the point where I started to question it all. Why do I chase after these things? Why am I so willing to give away everything that I love and have worked for in order to make a name for myself? It's become a movement in our modern society to sacrifice our peace, our humility, our genuine thoughts and passions to make our names known, regardless of how we get there. We see it every day, especially through social media, people who just genuinely do not care about what they're known for as long as they remain relevant. I'll be real, it all sounded so exciting to me. All of the promises that these industries made to me, all of the opportunities and new doors being open, I felt like there was no way I could fail as long as I just kept to myself and kept working. And for some people, that may work just fine in order to reach your status. But I quickly realized that status is the only thing that I would gain from making all these sacrifices, and my pain was only growing. I noticed that as I strive so deeply for the affirmation of this world, that the things and people of this world will always fail me one day. Regardless of the situations or circumstances, they aren't designed for us to rely on them for our every move. After months of chasing what I felt were my dreams, cutting off every good connection in my life, abusing substances, and relying on circumstances to satisfy the things only our Creator can, I found myself broken beyond words. I was so scared that if I was to quit, I may lose all the status that I felt I had achieved. All the appreciation I had gained, the name I had made for myself, everything I had ever worked for, gone forever. And that's exactly where I needed to be. As strange as that may sound, God knew exactly what he was doing in that moment, and it opened brand new doors for me to run right back into his arms. He met me right in my hurt, right in my suffering and my confusion. Something I never expected from God, though, is the fact that he lets us hurt sometimes. It's not necessarily that he wants us to hurt, but he gives us two roads to choose from, life or death. He will allow us to make decisions that only hurt us in order to find a brand new way to seek His comfort, grace, and mercy in those dark places. He will let us fall again and again in order to see Him for who He truly is. I fully believe that God allowed me to run myself to the ground. He let me destroy every beautiful relationship that was present in my life and create many addictions and challenges that would knock me down day and night only to realize that He is all I've ever wanted and needed. Every temporary source of joy, every substance, every opportunity, every worldly relationship was just a false representation of the joy that only our Heavenly Father can provide to us. Over the course of my journey, I began to realize the importance of laying down my status and being completely content with it. Every single sacrifice I made in order to be the person I dreamed of being open my eyes to see that I want nothing to do with that dream version of myself. Though it can be lonely sometimes, and definitely confusing, I now know that I want to be exactly who God has called me to be, and I can only discover and walk in that when I seek Him over everything. I want to be nothing more than a servant for His kingdom at this point. Knowing that I belong to God, He lives within me, and I have His strength in every battle that I walk through. 
has done me far greater than any worldly source of satisfaction that I've encountered. That status no longer defines who I am or who I desire to be. I am created new in the image of my Heavenly Father and will continue to walk in that all the days of my life. And honestly, I have no idea who he's called me to be in my future or what he's called me to do. And I'm completely okay with that because I know that if everyone in my life walks away, if every opportunity that I step into fails, he will still remain in me and in my life at the end of the day.